Sorry, comrades, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege will no longer launch October 13th as Ubisoft has pushed the tactical shooter's release back to December 1st. The Rainbow Six Siege development team addressed the delay on the UB blog, writing, This wasn't an easy decision, but based on the feedback we've received and based on our own internal tests, we felt there are adjustments and improvements we can make, including improving the co-op experience across all game modes, weapon and gadget balancing, as well as menu and interface navigation. We're taking a little more time to make these changes, and we think it's the right call. It most certainly is the right call. Ubisoft got burnt last year with Assassin's Creed Unity, so it's good to see the company learning from its mistakes. Speaking of the calendar and dates in, you know, 2015 in general, Sony has announced that its Paris Games Week conference will take place at 9 a.m. Pacific on October 27th. Oh, perfect. The same day Halo 5 comes out. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Now, this will mark the first time Sony has ever hosted an event at Paris Games Week, serving sort of as a substitute to Gamescom since the PlayStation Company skipped doing a press conference there. As for what Sony will showcase, I've got my fingers crossed for the return of Parappa the Rapper and more of the Last Guardian footage. But what about you? Let me know in the comments below. We all know Halo 5 Guardians won't feature split-screen functionality, and now 343 Industries is responding to criticism about that decision. The studio's franchise development director, Frank O'Connor, told a fan on Twitter, if we could do it, we would do it, but it is what they call non-trivial. Previously, 343 admitted axing split-screen was one of the toughest decisions with Halo 5, but necessary to match the studio's vision for the Xbox One exclusive, and it doesn't look like a fan campaign is going to change things on that front, which I understand is a big bummer to a lot of people. Still, I'm hoping Halo 5 will blow us away with the online co-op. Could the Tumblr show up in Batman Arkham Knight? Well, a new trailer for the Caped Crusader's latest game shows that the Batmobile from the Dark Knight trilogy is on the way. And yes, I know what you're thinking, it does indeed come in black. Other content planned for September in Batman Arkham Knight includes a Crime Fighter Challenge Pack, a story pack that sees you facing off against Penguin as Nightwing, and an original Arkham Asylum Batman costume. Very, very nice, I like it. Now this is the mashup. I didn't ask for, but can fully get behind. Transformers are rolling out for Splatoon. That's right, the next Splatoon Splatfest, taking place from August 28th to the 29th in North America, will have players choosing whether they're Team Autobot or Team Decepticon. And your Squid Kid will get a fresh shirt showing what side they picked. How rad is that? And you gotta believe I'm going to represent Team Autobot. That red Optimus Prime T is just too awesome. And that's your daily fix for August 18th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.